So I know this is a dumb question, but Stu, I'd like you to help me out on some of these things, okay? Going over the uh, the bailout, I found a few things. Mm-hmm. The John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts Operations and Maintenance. For an additional mount for operations and maintenance of $25 million to remain available until September 30th, 2021 to prevent, prepare for, and respond to coronavirus domestically or internationally, including funding for deep cleaning and information technology to improve telework capability and for operations and maintenance requires related to the consequence of coronavirus. What (laughs) exactly does the John F. Kennedy Center need to do besides get a bunch of mothballs and roll them down the aisle and then vacuum them the back up when they can open the doors. Well, in ta- $25 million? In times of a pandemic, Glenn, you want to make sure you pour money into facilities where people get together to sit really close to each other and watch a show. It's unbelievable. It's a great, great idea. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think we can do deep cleaning there for less than $25 million. And notice, and this is a key word, notice it says... Um, ba- 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 ba, to prepare for and respond to coronavirus domestically or internationally. What? Well, if they move is, the is Kennedy Center the... to um, Madagascar at uh-huh. any point, or that, Ukraine, it could be a huge, <laughs> could be a huge issue. <laughs> All right, I I don't think we should be uh you know twenty five million dollars to uh you know the the Kennedy Center. I, I mean, how much does it turn uh, take to turn off the lights and then come back later? Why are we paying performers and artists for not performing? I mean, get the unemployment that the plumber gets. The National Foundation on the Arts and Humanities, five National Endowment for the Arts, six grants and administration. For the additional amount, now $25 million to turn out the lights of the Kennedy Center, this is an additional amount for grants and administration. $75 million to remain available until September 30th, 2021 to prevent, prepare for, and respond to coronavirus domestically or internationally to be distributed in grants. Oh, okay, so... Wow. Uh, So $75 million to pay artists... Okay, um, who's getting these grants? And I'm an artist. Can I get one? I'm guessing the answer is negatory, chief. Negatory. Uh, Howard University for an additional amount for Howard University of $13 million to prepare to respond to domestically, internationally, help defray the expenses directly caused by coronavirus and enable grants to students for expenses directly related to coronavirus for the disruption of university operations. What, what, what? I mean, how expensive are the books now? $13 million for, to, to cover the disruptions. $13 million? I mean, can I just tell you, in this bill, schools are getting an awful lot of money. And with all due respect for the, the amount of fleecing that these these universities have done, I think, clean up your own mess. But that's just me. How are they different than the plumber right down the road? How come Beacon Plumbing is not getting millions of dollars? I mean, keeping my crapper clean and, and flushing with all this toilet paper that I now have, I mean, that seems to be more critical to me than, you know, giving grants to students for the disruption of university operations. I don't even know what that means. Also, notice all of these, domestic or international. That's, that phrase is mentioned 115 times in the document. Why does Howard need to spend money outside the U.S.? How much money exactly is going to be leaving the U.S.? Because I thought we were bailing out the United States. Source of funds used for payments of salaries and expenses of Tiny Findings Child Development Center. The Government Accountability Office may reimburse the Tiny Findings Child Development Center for salaries for employees incurred from April 1st to September 30th, 2020 for employees 
uh, of such center who have been ordered to cease working doing, d- due to measures taken in the Capitol complex to combat coronavirus, not to exceed $100,000 a month. So this is the tiny little Findings Child Development Center that's in the Capitol. So they took care of theirs. But what about all the little Chinese, uh, the, the, uh, the Child Findings Development Centers that are around the country? I was just with uh, the bank president of my local bank just, what, a day ago, two days ago. And we were talking, he runs a small business on top of that one. He runs a a daycare. He and his daughter run a daycare. I said, how's that going? He said, not well. I don't know how we're going to keep those doors open. Well, okay, well, how come he doesn't get any help? See, this is the kind of stuff that... It drives people nuts. This is the kind of stuff that gives, that creates the Tea Party or Occupy Wall Street. It does. Now they're giving to a private nonprofit. Well, how come Mercury won? We do a lot of good. How come we're not on that? How do you even get in line on that? You don't. Extension of sexual risk avoidance education program. $48,287,671 for the period beginning October 1st, October 1st, 2019, and ending May 22nd, uh, May 22nd of 2020. Excuse me? Okay, wait. For the period beginning October 1st, 16, 2019, that's in the past, and ending May 22nd, and they need $50 million? I mean, I'm sure they're doing great work. I'm, no, I mean that sincerely. But $50 million spent on telling people to self-regulate sexual risk? Wouldn't, uh, you know, hey, uh, everybody stay in shelter in place. Shouldn't that stop all risky behavior? I mean, you're only having sex with the people that you're trapped with. And that kind of sorting that out? I give that one to you for free. United States government. Federal work study during qualifying emergency in general. In the event of a qualifying emergency, an institution of higher education participating in the program under Part C of Title IV of the Higher Education Act, blah, 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 uh, if they affected work study students for the period of time not to exceed one academic year in which affected students are unable to fulfill the student's work study obligation for all or part of such academic year due to such qualifying emergencies as follows payments may be made blah 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 so wait students who work will get full time paychecks for not working when did we start giving students a pension Do plumbers get that? Section 3510, continuing education at affected foreign institutions. Oh, be nice if we had more information on this uh, section, more detail on exactly how they're going to pay, who they're going to pay, for what, how much. But no, that's all it was. Section 3510, continuing education at affected foreign institutions. Don't know what that is. Don't know how much they get. Don't know where that money's going. Temporary relief for student loan borrowers. The secretary shall suspend all payments due for loans made under Part D and Part B, uh, held by the Department of Education, blah, 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 suit through September 30th, 2020. Consideration of payments notwithstanding any other provision in the higher education, blah, blah, blah. Secretary shall deem each month for which the loan payment was suspended under the section as if the borrower of the loan had made the payments for the purpose of any loan forgiveness program. Wait! Hold it. What? Yeah, you heard that right. They're not just putting a hold on student loans. As long as the student claims this is an emergency, we're going to count each month as if we paid the loan for them. Uh, wait a minute. Excuse me. What? I just, I just last hour outlined what you should be doing, and that is... You should be calling your governor right now and telling the governor to put pressure on the banks to just put a moratorium on your mortgage for three months. That's business mortgages. That's, you know, uh, your, your mortgage payment. If you have any kind of mortgage payment, that should be suspended for three months because we can use that money to A, take the pressure off of families and they don't lose their homes, take the pressure off of businesses. Yeah, Cheesecake Factory said they can't meet their mortgage payment. They may have to close. Don't let that happen, America. 
everyone could take that burden off their shoulders. But I didn't ask that the government makes those payments. The government is, is counting from now until September as they're making all of the payments for the student loans. Oh, my gosh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Inclusion of certain over-the-counter medicines qualified as medical expenses. Guess what, Stu? Guess what? What? Guess what? Guess what we're paying for? <laughs> Guess what we're paying for? I don't know what. Yeah. Tampons, pads, liners, <laughs> cups, sponge. Mm. We're doing it all. Good. I, I was hoping that would happen. Finally. Finally. Well, How many times have we I've demanded always, this? I know. I've always thought, you know, we should be paying for tampons and genital tract secretions. Uh, and so we're doing it. So that's that's really good. Temporary government in the Sunshine Act relief. If the chairman of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System determines in writing that unusual and ex uh, e extreme circumstances exist, the board may conduct meetings without regard to the requirements of Section 552B of Title uh, 5 United States Code during the period beginning blah, 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 blah. Now, that's great. Sounds wonderful. Uh, except I don't know what U.S. Code Title 5, Section 552B says. No big deal. I mean, I looked it up. Uh, it's just a mandate that all meetings have to be open to the public observation. So, you know, we would have some idea of what's going on. But they don't have to do that now. They don't have to be open to the public. Uh, U.S. Code 552B, open meetings. A member shall not jointly conduct or dispose any agency business other in accordance with this section, blah, blah, blah. So this is all super, super great. But wait, there's more. Lots and lots more. Agricultural programs, the office of the secretary, for an additional amount, the office of the secretary of, oh, hang on just a second. Yeah, nine billion five hundred million dollars to remain available until expended to remain available until expended to prevent, prepare for, and respond to the coronavirus by providing support for agricultural producers impacted by coronavirus, including uh, producers of specialty crops, producers that supply local food systems, including farmer markets, restaurants, schools, livestock producers, including dairy producers. Now, that is quite the bailout. Uh, I mean, uh, this money can't possibly be going to the big evil farm corporation fat cats right just for family farmers right have they been hit that hard i know i know what's coming is going to hit them uh and what's coming is a lack of workers because we've stopped all visas to be able to come in and work the fields so how are they going to plant how are they, and what amount of money is going to get people to plant and do work that Americans don't do anymore. $9.5 billion, billion. And may I just point out, all throughout this, it's available until expended. Why don't we just wait to see how much we need? Put that money back out there. Say, okay, we think farmers might need $9.5 billion. And then let's put that money out there and, and let's gauge it and let's spend what we have to spend. Why is it until it's expended? Why the motivation to give that money away? By the way, till expended, uh, that is only appearing in the document 33 times. So 33 times that money is gone no matter what happens uh, in because of this because of this virus. So I think that's, uh, I think that's good. I could tell you about the um, 15th replenishment, but I mean, you know what that is. So I don't even think I need to go into the, how much money is going to the 15th um, replenishment. Oh, you don't, you don't know what that is? Don't worry. Just, you know, your tax money's, you know, going to Africa. Don't worry about it.